What's good, Knicks fans? Welcome to another video of New York Knicks uh, news and highlights. Uh, thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button as you're coming in watching this video. So let's talk about what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the New York Knicks and their remarkable 4-3 and three start. When I say remarkable, I say it because the Knicks have been struggling for so many years. And to start out the season above 500 is a big accomplishment. And, uh, and I'll tell you why it's such a big accomplishment. Uh, because first of all, if you look at the teams that we're beating, uh, we're beating playoff teams. You know, we beat Milwaukee. That was we beat them by 20 points, and uh, we beat Indiana. Okay, and we beat some good teams. We beat uh, Cleveland, who's who was win actually won every game until they played us, and we gave them their first L. And then uh, we uh, we beat Atlanta, which is a pretty good team. You know, they're a pretty talented team. So we're beating pretty good teams. So actually, not only pretty good teams, we're beating playoff teams. So the, this is encouraging as a Knicks fan, especially for me. Uh, I've been a big Knicks fan for so long. And uh, yeah, it's encouraging. And one of the big factors of why we're playing so good is Julius Randle. Now, Julius Randle has been under criticism uh, for the last couple of seasons, uh, that he dribbles into double teams, he spins out of control in the lane, and I'll tell you, one thing about Julius Randle, you got to give credit to Julius Randle, and you got to give credit to the coaching staff for telling Julius Randle, hey, don't force the issue, play with the flow of the offense. You know, if you're double team, kick it out to the open man. And that's why, you know, he even had a triple double because he's getting rebounds. He's a double, he gets double, double digit rebounds. And if he's kicking it out of the double team, he could get a triple double sometimes. And that's pretty freaking amazing. And uh, I'll tell you another player that's been playing great, although he got injured, he's back quickly. Quickly has been playing great. Emmanuel quickly has been playing great. He's been a spark off the bench. Now, I want to get into something. As you guys know, I'm a fan of Alfred Payton. But the media, for some reason, doesn't like him. Even a lot of YouTubers don't like him. Uh, like, I'm a fan of Nick Fan TV and uh, other channels as well. I'm not going to mention names, but I'm a fan of Nick Fan TV and I like them. I don't hold it against them. But uh, they constantly criticize Alfred Payton. You know, they're not a fan of his and. And, uh, well, they gave him credit, obviously. They have to give him credit when he had the 27-point game and the 18-point game. But uh, for some reason, <laughs> people don't like Alfred Payton as much as, the, as, as they should. And I really love Alfred Payton. I think he's a solid pro, very good point guard, smart, makes the right decisions, knows when to penetrate in the lane, knows when to kick it out, you know? So look at his stats this season. In the wins, he's averaging almost 18 points a game. Uh, I think it's seven assists and four rebounds. And for the season, he's averaging 14 points a game, five rebounds and five assists. Actually, it's four and a half rebounds and four and a half assists. So it's almost five and five, 14, five and five. That's solid numbers in the NBA. That is solid numbers. So I'll tell you, it's really encouraging. Uh, and by the way, Mitchell Robinson is playing great. Austin Rivers has been a spark off the bench. He's back from his injury, and he's been playing great, hitting big threes. So, guys, this is encouraging. You know why? Because we're playing defense, and the ba winning basketball starts on defense. And kudos to Tom Thibodeau. Guys, I'm really excited. Let me know what you think. Are you excited about the Knicks start, 4-3? and three? We are on pace of making the playoffs, as I mentioned in my earlier videos. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. And as always, I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next video.